Good morning, metalheads of the internet, and welcome to a new episode of The Metal Meltdown. Today we're talking about Paint the Sky with Blood, the first and only piece of recorded material from Bodum After Midnight, and in honor of this moment, and in honor of the late Alexi Leho, who unfortunately passed away in December 2020, I'd actually like to dedicate this video to him, to his friends, to his family, to his bandmates, and to his many fans. If it wasn't for the fact that it's literally 7 a.m. right now as I record, I would happily have a drink in your honor, Alexi. May you rest in peace. Bodom After Midnight is a continuation of Children of Bodom, an extremely influential and popular Finnish melodic death metal band and the brainchild in a passion project of the aforementioned Alexi Leho. Now I can't say I know exactly why Bodom After Midnight even exists. There appear to be an odd flurry of legal and personal reasons as to why this couldn't be released under the Children of Bodom name, but whatever the reason, it hardly matters what their name is because this is very much a direct continuation of the classic Children of Bodom sound. From the ripping neoclassical twin guitar harmonies and solos, to the majestic over-the-top power metal-esque keyboards, to the classic European melodic death metal flavor bellowing underneath, bound tight by Alexi's acidic vocals and a surprisingly very slick and polished sound mix. One that retains the metallic edge and hellfire expected of any subgenre of heavy metal, while still sounding like an actual professional product and not just a collection of crappy death metal demos assembled in someone's garage. Now truth be told, I've never actually been the biggest fan of Children of Bodom. I would very happily describe myself as a very casual listener, but even as a very casual listener, it's hard to argue with the incredible amount of raw talent on display consistently throughout Children of Bodom's discography. Say whatever you like about the actual quality of Children of Bodom's music, but at the end of the day, there's no arguing that they didn't have an identity entirely their own, that they didn't have one of the most unique and easily identifiable sounds in all of melodic death metal. A sound that remains every bit as powerful and triumphant on this EP. The title track, for instance, Paint the Sky with Blood, is such a vintage Children of Bodom jam that if you had told me it came off of one of their earliest records, I, honest to God, might have believed you. It is an absolute flurry of insane, intense, over-the-top musicianship without ever feeling overbearing, without ever feeling overwhelming, or coming across as being pretentious. And there's just so much energy and enthusiasm in here. I mean, that main guitar riff is great. The thrashy gang vocals are great. The keyboards and the twin guitar harmonies are, are fucking fantastic. It's just a really fun and engaging song from start to finish. And that trend continues on Payback's A Bitch. I have to admit, I'm not a huge fan of some of the lyrics on here, but the music still fucking slaps. The guitar work especially is some of the best on the entire EP. These guys are flexing like motherfuckers. It feels like a chaotic fusion of some of the best riffs and solos from like Megadeth, At The Gates, and like some of the more progressive stuff from mid-90s death. Now unfortunately this is all the original material that we're treated to on this EP, as the final track is a cover of Dissections Where Dead Angels Lie, and it's a fine cover, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of tasty riffs and solos, but it's also so faithful to the original cut that I can't help but understand what was the point in even covering it at all. I've always believed that if you're gonna do a cover song, it has to be different or at least better, and respectfully, I don't think this is either. It's especially disappointing when you consider that Alexi Leho could have easily fucking easily done both. I mean, we're talking about the same gentleman who turned a Britney Spears track into like a super funky, raucous, melodic death metal jam back in 2005. 
Again, not really a bad track, but it does end a mostly triumphant EP on a not-so-triumphant note, in my opinion. If I were to review each part of this EP individually, the original material would probably get a 4 out of 5, and the dissection cover would probably get a 3 out of 5. So let's split the difference, go right in the middle, with a very enthusiastic 3.5 out of 5. This probably wouldn't change the mind of anyone who outright hated Children of Bodom, but I'm not really sure that matters. This isn't really meant to be that. It is meant to be one final farewell to the Children of Bodom fanbase, to the new and emerging Bodom After Midnight fanbase, to everyone who supported Alexei through the years, and to everyone who has supported his art and his craft. It is disappointing that we won't get to see Bodom After Midnight blossom and grow and expand the way that Children of Bodom did, but at the very least, we do still have some sweet and tasty jams that very much deliver everything that anyone could possibly want from any Alexi Leho number. I see no reason whatsoever as to why a longtime fan wouldn't enjoy the crap out of this, and even if you're a more casual listener like myself, I'd honestly recommend you give it a shot nonetheless. There are some really fun, tasty jams on here, and who knows, maybe they'll encourage you to check out more of Children of Bodom's previous material. I myself may revisit some of the band's older materials once this video goes online, perhaps even the aforementioned Are You Dead Yet? Because holy shit, that Britney Spears cover kind of fucking slaps. That feels very weird to say, but it's the honest fucking truth. Once again, 3.5 out of 5, a very good EP. Rest in peace, Alexi. Hope you're jamming with Lemmy and all your fucking heroes wherever the fuck you are. And that is it for the Metal Meltdown. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? And thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe so you get updates on the Metal Meltdown. E fucking immediately. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.